All right, guys, before this Skyblock episode does start, I just wanted to mention that the Prisons Reset is going to be this Saturday, February 4th at 3 p.m. EST. There are a ton of brand new content updates coming for this next map of Prisons, so definitely don't miss this reset. There's going to be a showcase video uploaded later as well, showing off some of the brand new updates. But this season of Skyblock will actually be another versus series, okay? Now, first week, it's going to be solo, but then second week, it's going to be team-based, and we're going to be recruiting to ourselves and all that stuff. So if you guys want to be a part of the versus series, be sure to hop on. Definitely use my IP, royal.oplegends.com, of course. And just because the first week is solo doesn't mean you guys shouldn't hop on and grind because if it comes around second week and you are like rank zero, bro, with like no enchants or no prestiges or anything, I'm, I'm not going to recruit you. But not only that, guys, on the first week, listen, if you guys are going to be on for the reset at 3 p.m. EST, hop on and then immediately do slash mine go royal K9 and I'm going to be running a mine. And if all of my viewers mine there, all the people who are hashtag team royal, it's not only going to help me in the versus series, but it's going to help yourselves as well. Because if we all mine at the same mine, it's going to get maxed out extremely fast. And it's a versus series, so having a maxed out mine that quick is a massive, massive advantage. So if you guys are watching this, bro, please consider hopping on. Even if you just mine there for like 10 minutes, it will help me a ton. And obviously, I'm not going to close the mine on you guys whenever I get it maxed out like uh, some other people on the server. I'll probably have to tax a little bit whenever it is maxed, though, just so like the eco doesn't get insanely OP. But I think that'll be dope. If we all work together, we can get a maxed out mine extremely fast, couple hours into the reset, and I think that would be insane. So anyways, with that being said, this Skyblock episode has been like two episodes kind of merged together. Just because, like, the first episode that was going to be uploaded, it was so pre-recorded. So I just decided to basically merge two episodes together, and it made an extra long video of Skyblock. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. And with all that being said about the reset and everything, you know, more updates to come soon. But for right now, I will catch you guys in the Skyblock episode. Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today back for another episode of the Skyblock versus series against the YouTuber Mezoid. If you guys don't already know, we are on my server, royal.oplegends.com. If you guys want to check it out, you can come hop on. It is Bedrock and Java compatible, so it doesn't matter what version of Minecraft you guys are on. You just have to put in like the default Bedrock port and then put in my custom IP because whenever you use that custom IP, it does directly support me and the channel. But anyways, guys, we have a lot of plans and a lot of updates to go through in today's episode, all right? I'm going to be giving out some free pointers and some free tips because because Mezoid, I know you're watching this trying to figure out how to come back, buddy. But anyways, if you guys did miss the last episode, we did end up going up 1-0 in the Versus series, all right? Which means that concluded week one officially, and I have recruited some members already to my island. Shout out to this guy right here, Epic. This dude is goaded, all right? He just joined the island a couple of, like, minutes ago, maybe like an hour ago at max. First of all, he has a jungle omni tool, which is huge. But not only that, he did contribute a decent amount of spawners as well. If I come up here, we basically have spawners in every stack besides this pillar, and we're going to be changing that right now. Because not only did he put spawners in there, and he donated this very overpowered item, this block of diamond in my inventory. This is a part of a brand new content update on Skyblock that happened during the second week. They have added diamond mob coin generators i know there's other tiers as well but we are going to place this down immediately if we read this place this on your island and it will start generating mob coins for you mob coins can be collected through hoppers into chests wait whoa which you can then use a condensed one on what i thought it was just gonna be like a like a, oh oh my god i did not know it was gonna work like this okay 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 so we actually can't do this let me pick this bad boy back up um boom there we go we got it back but right here um these are three mob coins we have nine stacks of them so if we just claim these i think you can shift claim them right boom like that that is going to boost our mob coins a crazy amount and if we look at the mob coin shop oh it's currently disabled they're trying to like optimize all the prices and stuff but it looks like we're actually going to need to set up like a little farm for this and i think it's going to be best to do it like right below here because we always have people at our grinder grinding so it's just going to be like a little hopper system with some chests it should be mad simple i'm assuming Let's go ahead and mine these blocks real quick. This is my first time seeing a mob coin generator actually work in action. Because again, it's a brand new update. But now, let's get into the slash IS top check because you guys know this is a versus series. If I do slash IS top, I am still top four islands on the server. And you guys can see we have some members right here. We have CCSG, we have GameSyst, and then we have Epic. So clearly, if you guys still want to join the island, we have plenty of space. 
and Mizoid was on IS top earlier. I'm guessing they got thrown off and they had about 20,000 trophies. So we still have a pretty fat lead right here. And all I know is I'm testing Haxes on his island. He's only level P27, doesn't have a lot of crops farmed, their sack mobs killed or anything like that. So I'm not worried about the value that this guy's really collecting, to be honest with you. But he definitely could have recruited more people since I last checked. But that's why in this intro, we are going to be making plays, all right? Since Mizoid, he was, he was a little comp, all right? He's got 20K trophies, which is kind of a lot. I have almost 50K, but Mizoid could be hiding value. I have $100 million to spend here. But we are going to be spending this $100 million to buy some more spawners. First of all, we need to go ahead and get some more wolves right here because we're just wasting a whole pillar. So let's go ahead, go into the shop. Well, IGs are $4 million per, but they drop iron ingots. I feel like that's going to be so useless because you can get iron ingots from like a cobblestone generator or literally going to the slash mine. So we don't want IG spawners at all. But what we are going to do is we are going to purchase 128 wolf spawners really quickly. That was $16 million. We still have 85 million. And then the rest of this $85 million is going to go into a spawner that you guys might think is pretty bad. So we're gonna fly over here and look at this spawner. We have 12 rabbit spawners right now. And you guys might be thinking like, bro, rabbit spawners, are you serious? But the conversion rate on rabbit spawners are absolutely insane. And this is free game the Mesoid. Guys, if we go ahead and do slash is inventory rabbits are gonna drop rabbit foots obviously right first of all let's take a look at gas tiers this is giving us 3491 trophies right now right gas spawners are the most expensive spawner on the entire server they are five million dollars per obviously we're getting a grip of trophies from blazes and cave spiders these are probably still really really good to go for but they're like 1.5 million per spawner and we have like 80 blazes and like maybe 70 cave spiders so we have a lot of that and then if we take a look at how many trophies we are getting from the rabbits, boom, 3,600 trophies, guys. So if I take a look, we only have 12 rabbit spawners as well, and we're getting almost 4K trophies from 12 rabbit spawners. And they are only $600,000 per spawner which means we can buy a grip for mad cheap 32 spawners is less than 20 million dollars so let's go ahead boom add another 32 we're basically going to spend the rest of our money on these rabbit spawners right here but i want to get to 128 after that i don't believe you really want to go over that price so we're going to put another stack on this pillar over here slash shop boom and we are going to be purchasing um another well as many rabbit spawners as we can because we're not going to be able to get that much more we only have 15 million dollars it's only going to be good for 26 but i'm going to take that nonetheless so now we are going to have way more rabbit spawners going and hopefully we are making way more trophies from that. And I've heard from top islands that that is probably the best spawner to go for if you are looking for trophies. And the thing is, is our grinder is already looking pretty cracked. I cannot lie to you, bro. We have a ton of spawners in this grinder now. I want to like compare it to Mesoids, but again, we can't really TP there. And bro, oh, whenever the rabbits spawn that far away, it is so annoying because you can't reach them because their hitbox is so small. So I got to come over here, but look at that. 256 rabbits, kill them all. It's all going to like our auto chests and stuff. And we still have our natural mob farm going 24 seven. I've already deposited a ton of stuff into our island inventory from this, but you guys can see it's still getting filled. I just use a deposit one and then I hit the like really full chest like these right here. Boom, boom, boom. And then you just wait for it to stack up again. And this is making us a decent amount of trophies as well. But anyways, guys, now there has also been another update that is dropped on op legends bro and if you haven't checked it out trust me it is insanely overpowered the new update that's dropped is the nether dimension i have not been there once just yet but you guys can see i've been saving a ton of dimension teleporters for this new update i've heard like you make almost 10 million dollars every single time you use the nether dimension teleporter that is absolutely insane, but I've also heard you want to kind of get some sort of god set before you really TP there. Like, you want to get, like, speed, and I have 5.7 million XP. I don't know how to make a god set on here, but I'm just going to use, like, some basic enchants that just sound good, and hopefully we'll TP there, and we don't get smoked in the nether dimension. So, guys, let's go ahead and set up a bunch of chests just to store some enchant books in because i don't want to throw away maybe any decent books i'm just gonna keep all of them and then like if we die in a set or something we'll have some extra books to make another set out of you know what i'm saying i have not seen a soul speed book in about five years though so it's it's not looking good another 40 percent godly health boost three another fail well 
There goes the rest of our XP and didn't get it. It's all good, bro. I don't think we're gonna need it for the nether realm. We got like some enchants on our stuff, bro. I think this will be good. Bro, I have like no money boosters left, but we're gonna try this nether realm right now to see what's up with it. Yeah, he said also 2x money booster. I, I literally don't have any and the mob coin shop is, you know, it's beamed off the map. But really quickly, just from AFK and doing all that, look at how many mob coins we have in here. I wanna see how much we go up with all of this and I think there's some more in here as well. Grab those. Thank you very much. And then, oh my, wh why are these not getting transferred down? I don't know, but hey, I'm going to pop these real quick. We are at 880 mob coins, and I just want to see what we get to. Guys, we just got to 8,500 mob coins. It hasn't even been AFK for an hour. That is actually filthy work. We might need a bigger storage because, again, that wasn't even an hour. We had like half a dub up here. We had like a couple rows down here. That was insane, but it is time. All right, it is time to head over to the brand new realm. I This is my first time ever seeing it, bro. Boom, we're gonna pop it, nether dimension. Let's teleport here. Hopefully we don't get smoked. Welcome to the nether. Your goals here are to mine ores, cut nether trees, Fight nether mobs and farm nether wart. Each of these give you money as well as items for slash is inventory. So listen, you guys know my axe is actually a pretty high level. We're like, we're prestige seven with axes, but I've heard you actually just want to go for nether wart. I don't know how far it is. Oh, look at these guys. Nah, bro. He's not going to be able to hang with me, bro. Not going to be able to hang with me. He does no damage. This kid's free and oh, whoa, 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 whoa. If I don't got to fight him though, you know, I'll just, I'll be on my way. Because I am literally just trying to get to the nether wart. Where the hell is it at? This nether dimension is crazy, bro. Absolutely insane. I think it's dope that they did this though. I'll go ahead, smack some trees or maybe not. I don't know. So it looks like you can mine all up in here if you really wanted to get some extra ores. These ores might be worth a decent amount whenever oh no it's just gold ingots i thought it was gonna be like some new crazy custom or nah and then is this ah this is where the nether ward is okay so it takes a little minute to get here i can't lie to you but once you start farming this apparently you make absolute bank so that is exactly what we're gonna do i don't know if people really kill the mobs or if they just kind of like avoid them and dance around them the way i am boom oh wait bro i think my sell all button is actually broken it's actually fine because these nether wards don't add any trophies to your island at all. But already we are over a million dollars, bro. We've been here for a couple of seconds and it respawns pretty fast, it looks like. So guys, I'm gonna go crazy over here and literally just farm my heart out, bro. And we will see how much we make from this nether dimension. We still got another seven minutes here. Again, I don't have any um like 2x boosters or stuff like that. And I didn't really wanna use it until I knew even what this was, to be honest. Guys, look how much money I made in the last minute, 244K. That is absolutely disgusting. Compared to like the overworld dimension where like 30k was a good minute from woodcutting, this made me 250k. Okay, yo, 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 yo. After you've been here for a little bit, the mobs get a little crazy, bro. You guys can see we are already over the 10 million dollar mark though. But like the mobs do start to get a little crazy. I don't know if you guys can see all of those guys. They stack up quite a bit. And this is going to bring an end to the nether dimension grind. I think I went in there dead broke, right? Like I spent all my money on spawners. I made it out with 13.7 million, bro. That is absolutely insane, bro. That's almost 128 wolf spawners just like that. Actually, this one only has 64. Let's go ahead and add 64 more to this, 63. And then one more, boom, just like that. Then we need one more stack. And our grinder is basically maxed out, bro. And we just have to start working on like blazes caves the rabbits stuff like that and we are going to be cherry so we took a bit of a cut guys and i've just been grinding a little bit i also let my members grind for a couple of hours because i had to hop on factions and do something but now if we go ahead and take a look in this we have an extra seven thousand uh rabbit foots to go ahead and add this one doesn't have anything in it i doubt any of these yeah they're gonna be zeros but if i do slash is inventory let's take a look at this thing all right we have a hundred and 40k rabbit feet which sounds crazy to say but let's go ahead and convert these things to trophies and see how much we actually get so that's 140k we're at 49,000 trophies boom that got us to 53k bro the cheapest spawner i think almost on the entire server now has made us 8.3 thousand trophies and that was just in a couple of hours of grinding bro is top i still don't see mesoid on there so we are building and padding upon our lead on mesoid anyways guys this episode you guys don't even know there has been so many updates since the last clip. It has been insane. I think the last clip was recorded on like the 23rd. 
I am now recording this on the 27th. Don't know when this video is going to go up, but now I'm recording this on the 27th. So we just hopped a couple days into the future, right? Let me get everybody caught up with what's going on. So you guys know we're currently winning the Versus Series 1-0, right? And we started recruiting for the second week to see who would win the second week. Payout is in two days at the time I am recording this, all right? And both islands progress. It's pretty insane, bro. We've changed a lot. And my island and Mizoid's island... It has gotten pretty copy. I can't lie to you. First things first, I am P level 101, which is pretty high if I do say so myself. And you guys can see how many trophies I have, 141K, right? So if I do slash IS top, you guys are going to see who I've recruited and who Mizoid has recruited. Boom. If we take a look at this thing, Mizoid is currently IS top number five. You guys can see everybody he's recruited so far. And then here's my island and everybody I've recruited so far. So, you know, it looks like we're losing here, right? It does. Because we only have 141,000 trophies. These guys have 142,000. Honestly, everybody on their island doesn't even really grind that hard, bro. Besides testing, testing is their main guy. He basically owns the island, if we're being honest. But, like, nobody's P level on this island is is like even compares to mine. I'm literally ranked higher than all of their members here. So I'm a little confused on how they're getting so many trophies. But I mean, nonetheless, if I do slash IS inventory, we're behind like a thousand trophies, right? On IS top. If I take a look, oh my God, our remaining space is getting depleted. Might have to buy some more upgrades uh, for sure. But I mean, we still have 1.4 million in like space and we probably have some useless stuff in here too, but not too much of it. But if I flip to the next page, it may look like we're tied, but we're not tied, realistically speaking. So right here, we have 222,000 gas tiers, which actually probably isn't a lot. I'm pretty sure Mizoid's Island has more gas spawners than mine, which, you know, it's not okay, but it, we'll, we'll work with it, all right? And I'm pretty, I know for a fact they have more witch spawners than we do too, but I think that's because they want it from like flares and I think they've opened more flares than us. They like to say that we've spent like $800 or something as an island. Absolute Fugue's statement, there is no way. I mean, I know Epic, the, uh, the guy I recruited in the first recruitment episode, I know he bought a couple flares, but bro, testing spent like $150 on flares too. But I mean, I don't know. Maybe I just wasn't on whenever he was popping all of his flares. So they have more witch spawners than us. They might have more ghasts. But here's where we come in. We have 3 million blaze rods right now. I know for a fact these guys do not have as many blaze rods as we do. And we have 3 million spider eyes. No, for a fact they don't have that many spider eyes. And then rabbit foot 5.4 million. This is the cheapest spawner on the server. So, so maybe their rabbit feet are up there as well. But I still doubt they have more than us. We have so many trophies hidden right here. But I still can't lie. I'm a little scared, bro. Because they are making value in like weird ways, bro. Nobody on their island has a high P level. Which means they're not grinding their grinders, right? So it makes me a little suspicious, bro. I'm a little confused as to what's going on here. Oh, this is a brand new update on the island. But I'm pretty sure I know exactly what Mizoid's island is doing. And we've kind of mimicked that for the most part. Part, not entirely, but what I think Mizoid's Island is doing is I think they're a little lazy, guys. And I think they put Slayer minions on all of their grinders for the most part, and that's how they get their drops. Because that would explain how they have very low P levels, but still a ton of value. They just throw Slayer minions on there, and Slayer minions are good, but they don't have looting. So manual grinding will be a Slayer minion 10 times out of 10. Especially if you have the Jungle Omni tools, bro, because this has looting four. And a minion has looting zero, dude. But that does mean that they make drops 24-7. So it's actually a pretty smart strategy. If I actually come over here and show you guys, we have automated our ghasts. I have my slain minion on our little ghast farm. Um, we only have 84 ghasts. It's really not a lot. We haven't purchased any with money. I don't think, I think all of these ghasts have been from like completing our slash skills. I don't even know if Mizoid's Island has completed their grinder skills, but this gives you a free seven ghasts. You do seven times eight. That's 56 ghasts right there. And then the rest have been from crates and stuff. Also, we did get a couple more mob coin generators. Mob coins are actually insanely important, I guess. Um, and... I know for a fact that Mizoid's Island has a ton of these mob coin generators. We do not. So that is a massive advantage that that island has on us. And hopefully it doesn't make a difference. I, I don't know if it will though. Because I know they've opened a ton of flares. They've probably gotten a ton of very expensive spawners just from getting like popping open a crate. Like you can win 10 ghasts, 10 uh, blazes, 10 cave spiders. And if they open up a ton, 
their spawners might be low-key better than ours. Even though we have 100% like manually grinded more, I'm telling you, we've bought like a majority of our spawners, bro. We just have like with our own hard-earned cash. But now that I've caught you guys up to date on everything that is happening, it is time to move on into this actual episode. Payout might even be in this video and we'll figure out who wins week two. I'm not a thousand percent sure. But for right now, listen guys, it's my turn to open up some flares, all right? My turn to maybe get a little OP here. And it's the perfect time because I don't know if anybody on Mezoid's Island is actually online right now. I know testing's not, I know Ditch isn't, I know Mezoid isn't. Um, let's um, message Jew Crew. he's not online, and then message Zolp. Every single person is offline on their island. It's the perfect time to do this right here We have a whopping six fire flares. All right, this is what they opened and the rewards are OP, bro I mean you can obviously get unlucky and get like cheeks rewards, but I mean for the most part it won't happen So let's head over to spawn. We are gonna rip these open I am honestly praying for a second pet slot for one, but I also want to win some spawners so if I just take a look like 10 witch spawners IGs are horrible. Hopefully we do not win those. Cave spiders would be good. Gas spawners would be amazing. Blazes would be amazing. There is no way this dude is emoting on me. Even some money boosters would be absolutely huge as well. Capacity auto chest would be amazing. And then obviously the mob coin generators, guys. I will talk about why these are so important in a minute. But first, let's start ripping these open. There's a lot of rewards we want to win here, boys. I can't lie to you. Finally made it to earth. First crate. What are we getting? I'm like lag spiking, bro. Yo, where's my loot? Okay, pet box. Look at how many pet boxes we just freaking got. All right, I mean, we got 10 blazes, though. We, we, got, we got 10 blazes. I just got mad ultra pet boxes, which I didn't entirely want, bro, if I'm going to be honest. But please, bro, mob coin generators or gas spawners, bro. That, which IGs? Oh, we're getting, we're getting smoked. But for the love of God, this is our third one. Cave spiders. I'll take pet slot number two. 20 cave spider spawners. Beautiful, boys. That is beautiful. Thank God we got something good. I'm equipping the second pet slot immediately. And if we dig into our little medium pet backpack, all we have is a unique. I don't even think it's max level. To be, It's not. But we can run the little two pet setup now. That is perfect. Now I got two of these things. And here we go. With another box capacity chest. I am not mad at another capacity chest. Another pet slot and 10 ghasts. Yo. Uh, that was that was kind of good for me. We need these uh, uh, capacity chests, bro. It makes life just so much easier. I have another pet slot that I obviously don't need. And here we go. Um, still no mob coin generator. More ghasts. More IGs, bro. Oh my god, the IGs are cheeks, bro. Cheeks and smoked, 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 smoked. Not one, not one mob coin generator. The game just loves making my life insanely hard bro so let's go ahead add the 30 gas i mean that was a w but still wasn't you know this could have been way better bro we'll add um the blazes right here we have 10 more witch spawners that we can place um 20 caves and then again the igs are useless i'm not even placing them bro but we can rip open these pet boxes and maybe get a little lucky and pull like a super good pet jesus christ all right let's delete all the common pets and let's start ascending these things see if we can get anything maybe kind of good boom we have, oh my god, guys, we have two unique plus money pets, and we only need one more to get a godly. Nah, this is fire. Say less. 16? Didn't, I don't, I don't think we would have got it out of that. How much more space we got? We need one more unique money pet, bro. If we do not get it out of a whole stack, I'm gonna rage. Okay, half a stack. Unique money pet. That means we have got the godly. Oh, we have got it, boys. Maybe, theoretically speaking, maybe this was a dub. Because how good is the godly money pet gonna be? Right here, we got it. And then what's our best um, experience pet? It's still only unique? Wow, that is tough scenes. But not that tough, because I'll still take this. I'd rather have better luck on the money pets than the um, XP ones. So, let's go ahead and get our boy to the max level. It should level up insanely fast. And we've gotten our godly money pet to max. And look at the boost amount. 4.6. This is going to be huge. Especially in like the nether dimensions and stuff. This godly money pet is going to be putting in work. But let me explain to you guys why mob coins are so important now that they added this update. If I do slash mob coins to show you guys the shop, they have added monthly crates. 150k mob coins for one monthly crate and you can purchase five a day. I know Mezoid's Island is making like millions of mob coins every single day. 
And you can get spawners from these monthly crates. That's why they're so important and they have way more than us. Guaranteed. So it's a little scary, but that is why I'm bringing in a big boy recruitment. He's just AFK right now. I've been waiting for him to hop back online. So I'm going to take a cut real quick. We're going to wait for this brand new recruitment that should hopefully guarantee us the win on this versus series, all right? One of the best players on the entire server, hands down. All right, guys, finally, the member is back online, bro. It is literally the complete next day. That's how long it's taken, bro. Also, a little bit of an update. Someone did transfer our uh, rabbit feet into trophies. So now we're almost at 200K, Mesoids at 175K, but we still have like 4 million, almost 5 million blaze rods. But yeah, we deposited all of our rabbit feet. I didn't want to do that, but someone on my island decided it was a good idea to deposit but maybe they think that's all of our value like it could be a good trick so i'm just gonna let it rock but anyways guys we are going to be inviting somebody right now and he's one of the best players on the server like i said and we're actually gonna need this guy for the next week i believe so if i do slash i is top and we take a look you guys can see i have a full island but Faded Wisp ended up getting like super sick or something and he hasn't even really played much. So he said it was cool to rotate him out for like, there's only one day before payout at this point, but he said it was cool to rotate him out. We're going to invite this player. And then whenever the third week starts, Epic is actually leaving to join IS top number two or something, or maybe three. I don't really know. So if Faded wanted to join back, he could just get right back in the next week. It's just, he's sick. So he's not able to play much right now. So if we IS kick Faded underscore wisp. I heard this shouldn't give me like a penalty because this is my first time ever. Oh, dude, he has to be online. Oh, okay. I found it. We can kick him like this. Remove member. Remove this player permanently from your island again. He could just join back the next day, like literally tomorrow because someone is leaving my island anyway. But boom, he has been removed. And this is who we are inviting. I'm hacking. He's been helping me out throughout the whole season of uh, Skyblock. And he is officially on the island bro so listen i actually don't even know how much he's gonna play to be completely honest with you but i'm hacking knows all of the strategies on the entire server so i know he's a grinder if we actually do slash grind top i will be mind blown if he's not up there i'm up there he's up there as well and he knows every single strategy on the server so definitely the best recruitment so far this entire season oh he has a godly money pet as well and he's legend rank like bro and he has brought 1500 wolf spawners over apparently i thought we were like maxed out but he said there's uh there's no such thing as maxed so and this guy is already giving us some tips on what to do and change on the island so basically what he said this is actually genius i don't know why i didn't think about this before we're gonna have one p level grinder and then we're gonna have one like trophy grinder so we're gonna put all of the wolf spawners into one grinder okay so we just transferred everything this is going to be our trophy grinder bro we have all of the mobs that make trophies in one farm and i should probably i have like 78 million i know not all of these stacks are maxed out so we're probably just gonna work on trying to do that there we go this one reached the max we still have 44 mil this one can use some maxing out bang and okay are we poor oh wait no no that reached the max we have 13 mil oh this one only has one rabbit spawner okay yeah rest of our money is just going into this stack i guess and boom there we go i actually see why we would want to do this i don't know why I have not done this sooner. So as you guys can see, we still have like a couple of pillars, like five pillars that needs spawners. I don't know if we should really start buying like blazes and more caves because we don't have the most of those. I mean, we have a pretty decent ish amount, but for the most part, we just have a ton of rabbits. Like, bro, look at this. This thing has been like being AFK for like five seconds, bro. And we had mad rabbits up in here. So we have optimized everything, bro. We've Put all of the spawners in here, changed up all of the auto chests. Everything should be good to go, I believe. And just like that, guys, it is now the next day and it is time for payout to see who's going up either tied up in the versus series or we're going up 2-0. Guys, if we go up 2-0, I think this is going to be as good as over, to be honest, because we have a plan for this week, all right? Payout is in five minutes at the time I'm recording this, okay? If we do slash IS top, Mesoid is right here, but I don't necessarily know if these guys are even gonna deposit any more trophies. But if they do deposit, I'm only gonna deposit enough to barely beat them. So that way we can save all of our value for the third week because we have so much more than they do. At least I think. I'm hoping we have a lot more value than they do. And then we're already gonna start off the third week with the 
fat freaking lead and then it's basically on our way to 3-0 and then it's finished you know what i mean like this is a massive week right here but i want mesoids island to deposit all of their drops to like hopefully they think that it's possible to beat us right now i might deposit just some stuff right now just to kind of make it seem like we deposited everything so the bones of course these are kind of useless for trophies i can't lie like that's 150k look we're not even gonna go up a thousand we might go up 500 trophy it was 100 jesus christ from all those bones but i want to get them to deposit payout is now in four minutes you guys can see we got a lot of stuff here listen i'm gonna do like 1 million rabbit feet and then 500 000 fermented spider eye and maybe that'll be believable so here we go 500 000 fermented spider eye let's see what we go up to it only got us like 4k trophies to be honest it was not a lot and then we're gonna do like we'll do two million rabbit feet boom that got us to 214k that might low-key be believable bro but i do have to keep an eye just in case they deposit and like they deposit more than us obviously we have to beat them i don't think the strategy has worked i think they're just gonna save all their value for the next week it's fine we didn't really deposit much anyway but like we could have saved that 500k and then the two mil rabbit feet but the rabbit feet don't matter bro we'll get plenty of that there's one minute until the official payout i am keeping an eye on is top all right oh oh bro is that is that it okay that's boom 8 p.m right there they they didn't depot that is insane they didn't you guys can see it's already hashtag team royal royal 2 royal on top you guys you guys know the vibes bro so now we're gonna wait for the value to reset and then we have so much more value to deposit and then we should just have a fat lead for the third week just waiting for it to reset it is now 801 p.m so it's a minute ahead but i think they might be doing uh prisons first and boom now it is week three is top everything is reset i'm gonna go ahead and deposit everything is inventory um the 55 like bro oh this is gonna take a fat minute so guys we deposited basically all of the useless stuff and we are at almost 20,000 trophies but now it's time to get into the big boy i want to see has mesoids island they haven't even redeposited okay now guys we did have a member leave right whenever um the next week started he wanted to join is top two or something so we went ahead and threw an invite to radiant pup i think he's here bro like hopefully hopefully he ends up joining and there we go slid him another invite this one it should okay now it went through all right w so we do have a new member we lost epic and he was actually you know he was a pretty good member he was definitely a grinder but he went to is top number two and it's all good so let's go ahead and deposit six million rabbit feet right here boom that got us to 80k trophies right there that is not too shabby um these glow ink sacks i don't think are going to be worth a lot to be honest boom and then deposit the rest um 81k honestly it was decent only have a few feathers here boom we are at 86,000 trophies and now we got 4.9 million spider eyes to deposit man boom that got us to 140k i think I'm, i'll deposit like 6 million blaze rods as well and this is going to be fat lead we have on mesoids island 200 000 trophies we passed what we had last week bro oh, i mean i guess not entirely just yet 560k of that now we did we're at 220k um 670,000 gas tiers go ahead and deposit this boom 241k trophies which puts us at is top number one let's go boys now realistically key key can deposit more and beat us right now but i mean hey eyes top number one and we still have some stuff left over it's not like we deposited everything just you know the majority of the stuff you know or i mean now nah, now nah, we basically yeah we deposited everything okay that was a lie everything is basically deposited we have 470k blaze rods left over wait what ditch said depot hidden value um keck w i think that's the emo you guys are funny do they do they not have it they 100 have hidden value well guys i don't think they really have any hidden value and if they do it's not going to be anywhere near like 240k trophies worth so we are on our way to going up 3-0 in the versus series against mezoid it's just you know the per usual light workout here but that is going to go ahead and do it for this episode i think this has been like an extra long episode of skyblock so hopefully you guys did enjoy that if you did be sure you guys drop a like sub if you guys are new come check out the server with royal.oplegends.com hashtag team royal in the comments you guys already know the vibes and yeah i guess i'll catch you guys in the next episode of skyblock